In an electric circuit, a resistance obstructs the flow of the current. As the name suggests, a variable resistor can change in its size so that the obstruction to the flow goes up and down. Demonstrating that in this circuit, it is a simple circuit with an ammeter, a single bulb and the variable resistor. The circuit diagram is here. Using the standard circuit symbols, a circle with a cross being the bulb and the box with an arrow through the variable resistor. As we turn the control on the variable resistor, we can change the current flowing. As we reduce it, you can see the bulb is dimmer and the reading on the ammeter is smaller. As we increase, the reverse happens, increasing the brightness of the bulb, increasing the current flow. That is because the resistance is being turned down so more current can pass, or turned up so less current can pass. To quickly explain how this works, I've got here a piece of pencil lead, graphite and wax, and that is in the circuit here, in place of the variable resistor. The yellow connector is only connected at the bulb end. The other end can be slid backwards and forwards along the piece of graphite. The circuit, therefore, looks like this, where the red line represents the piece of graphite and the arrow represents the connector which can be slid backwards and forwards. That has the same effect as the variable resistor we've seen. The current reduces as more graphite is in the circuit, increases as the length of pencil lead, the graphite there, is decreased. It is a variable resistance. Now, suppose we take that piece of graphite and instead of it being straight, we gradually bend it into an arc. Now that we've got this horseshoe shape piece of graphite, we can create a contact in the center which then can be slid around it, like this, and then back again. So putting that as a picture into the circuit, the sliding contact moves around the wax and graphite shape, changing the amount that is in the circuit, and therefore changing the resistance. As a consequence, the current can be turned up and down. And as we saw before, that image is represented by a box with an arrow through, the variable resistance. I hope that's been useful. Thank you for watching.